Hi YouTube. In this schematic setup um, I made up a relay, a simple relay with a start and stop button. In the industry these are called often contactors. The beauty of a contactor is you can switch with a small current, a con small control current, often also at a different voltage. You can control a large current, a very powerful device, big motors, or Cut. The main reason I made it is I uh, had quite a few requests from some of my subscribers how I made my control box um, which features in quite a few of my other videos and it's basically principle like this. Uh, I'll provide a schematic how this is connected because an important thing is that uh, control wires are separated from the load carrying wires. This particular relay got three contacts in parallel on both sides, so it gives me a larger current capacity. The relay is rated at 25 amp per phase, so technically I could push 75 amps for here. This is only 4 mil, so I should put say 10 mil wire in there, 16 mil to have that current, but not required in this particular case. The control wire goes on terminal 4, that's a spare normally open terminal, goes through the on button. The on button gets a supply from the phase, so it's a latching contact, so it's energized and it will latch itself. Push this, it makes, energy goes through the jumper. This is the off button, but um, goes through the jumper and drives the call. The actual on button is a normally open contact, the off button is a normally closed contact, so power goes in, I make. Relay gets energized through here, dead contact is closed, drives the relay call, pulls the relay in, stays on. Touch this button, off, relay falls out, load lamp is off. The schematic will be attached, phase, neutral, main current in through the relay, in the yellow wire, wire out to the load. In this case it's a neon lamp, black is neutral, return pass for the circuit. My incoming supply is brown phase and uh, light blue is a neutral. Okay viewers, I've connected the voltmeter on the supply, 237 volts and a milliammeter in series is the relay. I'll close the relay and we've got 27 milliampere, 28 milliampere is controlling the coal which pulls the contact uh, wedge in and that switches the load. Now I can Connect up in uh, 12, 13 amp load and we'll see what happens. Fuse, um, I connected the ammeter on the circuit for my load and we're going to turn that on briefly. Drawing about 20 amps here. We still got the call of 23 milliamps so because the voltage has dropped a bit because my lead is a bit thin. But um, So we say the relay call 23 milliampere, 20 amps through the ammeter. Into the heating elements which are laying out here and they're glowing bright orange at the moment. So as you see my voltage has dropped a little bit. Um, voltage is 219 volts at the moment. Heating off this voltage all wise so it goes back to 237 so my lead is quite long so 20 amps is quite a bit of uh, standing load. Uh, thanks for watching at this stage I'll post the schematic at this um, video at the same time. Relays come in different sizes and shapes so are kits. This is a small 12 volt relay which is about 8 amps it's a 24 volt relay. This is an octal relay, common used in switchboard panels. We have a bigger relay here that's uh, 400 volts, 460 is about 80 amps per face. It's not a big relay. And we have the real tiny relays.
This I have found in alarm panels. Schematic will follow. Our cats are electrically minded. Eyelash, panel and schematic. Okay, here's the schematic for the push button, relay contactor. Phase on top, neutral. I wired it up exactly the same as uh, in the hard wired uh, thing. That's the relay. It's a four pole, one, two, three, and four. Push button one, that's normally closed, that's for the off position. And push button two is normally open. And that's for closing the relay into the supply. And then the load is connected onto these two terminals, to this uh, orange strip connector where the lamp or the heater was connected to. I nearly forget, it's very important that the uh, push button has its own separate supply or its own separate contact on the relay. Yes, otherwise the push buttons could carry the load current which we don't want and the buttons would melt out. So there needs to be a spare terminal on the relay for the actual switching for the push buttons which only controls basically the relay current which was between 23 and 28 milliamps. Finish off this uh, video with a beautiful sunset over the Vitaqueries.